my guy. I am so happy to hear that. Thank you so much for your amazing work. Oh, thank I you. want to just say that out. Oh, yeah, that's so sweet. Joke. That's so sweet of you. Thank you. Well, not yeah. only does she have amazing work, you have amazing yes. work. Yes, okay. yes, yes. I mean, you've, been in, you've been in so many television shows over the years. Which one or uh, which ones have been your favorite? You know what, I feel like I've had a journey, right? So the, the, certainly the first one that was my favorite was being on Seinfeld. Oh, yes. that was, yeah. It was a moment. Yeah, it was cool. like, iconic, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, I knew once I was there, I did that and Mad About You, I was like, okay, right, yeah. I'm starting my career now. Yeah, Because so I was great. 24, and really? by LA standards, that was very old. Oh, Crazy. Um, no. It was, like, these girls were not kidding in the waiting room. They would be like, I like your hair. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing worse than audition waiting rooms. Horrible. And what did you say? Um, thank you. I was so confused. <laughs> I was so confused. It's so great when you sort of graduate out of the, the beginner waiting rooms because they once you get a, a career going, everybody's working, everybody knows what they're doing. And then like and then I got to do a lot of sort of socially important shows like uh, um, Ally McBeal, I played yes. a transgendered woman, but wow. of course you'd never do that now. Right. Now you Hire a transgendered woman, but back then that just wasn't what was happening. And I played a sex worker on West Wing. That oh, was pretty wow. cool. Nice. Putting herself through law school, judgment free. Okay. I love that. Well, now you're also appearing on The Good Doctor, which we love you. Yeah. yeah. Which actually reunites you with your Relativity co star. Uh, Richard oh, right. Schiff, yes. Relativity, I played lesbian, had the first lesbian makeout scene on network television. Very proud of that. You should really? be. Yeah. yeah, wow. That's yeah. groundbreaking. Yeah. Okay, but. And I Richard actually... played my dad. Okay, yeah. so Huge. Richard is a really good friend of yours in real life. Yeah. And I hear that his wife once taught you actually how to strip. <laughs> how good of friends are you? crazy, doesn't it? Uh, when I was on House, because I was playing the head of a hospital, yes. of course I then had to do a strip tease. Love that show. Because that makes perfect sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, exactly. um, but it was weird because I had been working with these people for six years and suddenly I was in my underwear and I was like, okay, sexy bikini, sexy bikini. <laughs> uh, it was a little stressful. It was crazy. Well, yeah. you've been in the industry for 30 years and you just mentioned how like Hollywood values its youth, right? Besides yeah. everything else. What would you say is a crazy experience that stands out to you? Uh, I don't know. I think I got very lucky because I was never really an ingenue. So, because I never, I never looked seventeen. I always looked thirty, even when I was twenty. Uh -huh. And so, um, I was able to age, uh, and I feel like uh, that really helps. So, yeah. my biggest job, I was forty-eight when I got girlfriends, got to divorce, wow. and and she was a relevant woman who actually had sex and dated That's successfully. Because like yeah. I'm divorced. Yes, right. yes. And and so it day. wasn't like, and they weren't trying to make me anything else. In fact, the head of the studio, Bonnie Hammer, sent me a message the day I got hired saying, please don't mess with your face, which oh, I, wow. I don't do anyway, but they were worried that I would show up all like sort of filled and yes. frozen. And because uh -huh. and, people panic. They don't know what story that you want them to tell. And they think you need to tell a story that you're not. And I, I just want to tell a story of a woman my age. Yeah, I love well, that. Well, that's great.